Hi everybody, it's Conrad here again from AlbertaGardener.com and I just wanted to talk to everybody about how I protect my cabbages from those bloody white butterflies. I hate those freaking things. If I was a superhero, they would be my super villain. Or arch nemesis, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, of course, let's talk about how I do it with uh, the materials that I use. You can't really see it there, but obviously I have a watering can because I'm going to be planting. Trowel for digging in everything uh, and I got a net here that I got from the dollar store there there's actually three of them they're only about I don't know a foot and a half wide so I had to I sewed three of them together with uh, fishing twine and uh, they worked well last year this year I've noticed because of raspberries growing up through I never actually trimmed the raspberries off that I needed to last year and when I pulled the netting off at the end of the season it ripped up pretty bad, so I tried to fix it with fishing line. didn't work. But for if you don't do something silly like that, you can uh, pretty easily use those for a couple of seasons, I would say. Maybe even three, and the three of them cost me $3, so um, pretty good. And uh, this cold frame, expandable greenhouse, uh, I really like it, actually. It extends, I use it with... Uh, I have two of the planting beds that go with it out back, and although I wouldn't recommend those planting beds because they're made of plastic and they're pretty cheap, they have lasted a few years though, so that's good. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I'd make my own if I was going to do it again. But this greenhouse thing, I really liked it. I think it was like, oh geez, what was I got it on sale? And I think it was still fifty bucks or something like that. Way way too much, really. You could probably build your own cheaper, um, but. I didn't, so <laughs> I have to, the uh, the greenhouse part's okay too on it, uh, the only problem is it doesn't velcro all the way up, or across the bottom of the flaps, it only velcros across the sides, so you can still get frost inside if that's what you're trying to protect it from. Anyway, the first step that I didn't actually show was cleaning out the, uh, clean out all the crap from inside your... Well, I mean, unless you're using it as manure. No, <laughs> clean everything out of your uh, your bed. I had a bunch of raspberries growing in there, and so I pulled all them out. And we have a couple volunteer onions, which I'm just going to leave in for the season, see how they do. But uh, if you look in the picture on the left side is, um, I think that's green cabbage. Uh, and I, then on the right is the red cabbage. There's four plants of each. I know some of them are hard to see. Um, around the... Down the center is four broccoli, and around those ones is four are four kale plants. I forget the variety. I just I think it just said kale on the package. I don't think it actually gave me a variety. It's some cheap brand, but it grew good. So then the next step I did just this is the first season I'm doing this, but I mean anytime you can save you can conserve water, especially as dry as it's been, uh, it's great. So I put down a bunch of leaves for mulch. You can use wood chips or whatever you got, and uh, that'll do fine. And then uh, here's the corner of those beds. You can see how cheap they are. Like they're just hollow plastic. But I mean, they've held together. The the only problem is I broke the. I can't remember which one. I actually broke one putting it together because the corner pieces are very cheap. Uh, but they got this little cap, and it pulls off and that greenhouse slides right into the hole there so it stays in place really nice there it is all framed out I didn't bother going step by step showing you how to do it because if you're gonna get your own it says it on the box and if you're gonna make your own it's gonna be different you could do it you could probably do it with like actually you definitely could do it over a wooden bed with just some uh, PVC pipe and then lay your netting over that and then there's the netting and I you gotta make sure you weigh it down otherwise it'll just fly away in the wind and honestly, that's it. That's all I do. And last year, I had the best cabbages I've ever ever grown. I had huge broccoli plants that actually, the reason the broccoli is planted straight down the middle this time is so they have more room in my little uh, frame there because they were pushing up on the netting on both sides because they were getting so big. But other than that, all you got to do is lift it to uh, lift it to pull weeds and you can water right through it. It's great. And uh, that's, it, I guarantee you that'll keep those cabbage moths out. As long as you keep the netting down, you'll be, you'll have no green wiggly guys to 
eat all your cabbage before you get it. So uh, that's it for this episode, everybody. I'm hoping to do more of these little project videos. Um, the next one will probably be on the frame that I'm putting around the greenhouse. You'll not around, but like I'm adding to the greenhouse. You'll see when it comes out. Uh, until then, keep on gardening.